your first alert weather. Another gorgeous day across the region. We have a little smoke and haze still settling in. The fires burning off to our west and parts of Oregon and western Idaho contributing to the somewhat hazy appearance here as we look around the Snake River Plain. But you get above that haze, you got nice blue sky with just a few high level clouds floating on through. And we're going to keep this nice warm weather train rolling into the weekend. The only change here. It's going to be a little windier getting into Saturday. So currently outside in Idaho Falls, we got temperatures at 70 degrees, winds out of the south at eight miles an hour, and uh, we're keeping it pretty dry. 20% humidity, no threat for showers in the immediate forecast. Beautiful shot here from the Pocatello Farm Bureau Skycam with 72 degrees. Winds out of the west at 7 miles an hour. And we're expecting to see those temperatures once again bottoming out into the freezing numbers of the upper 20s to lower 30s to get you started for your Saturday morning. A freeze warning in place right now for areas of the Snake River Plain again for tonight and early Saturday morning. And then a frost advisory for the eastern Magic Valley. So we still have this big ridge of high pressure just sitting off the coast line here. The jet streams coming down through Montana and you'll notice some clouds in that direction. This is a disturbance that's going to be passing by to our east. There is a very slim chance. I mean, it's extremely slim chance of seeing showers in our local viewing area. We might see a couple storm clouds getting close to Yellowstone and Island Park tomorrow, but again, the chances are very light at this point. As we go to the Vipercast, you can see the shower threat well off to our east, closer towards Rapid City, South Dakota, closer towards Cheyenne, maybe even far south as Denver, uh, but we are still sitting with mostly sunny conditions. Now with the system in the neighborhood, we're looking at winds tomorrow at around 15 to 25 in the afternoon. Wind expected to die down here by Sunday afternoon to about 10 and that ridge of high pressure is going to be over the panhandle and we're going to be sitting pretty here with some clear skies. Lows tonight tomorrow morning again back into the upper 20s to lower 30s and then the highs tomorrow above average upper 60s for Idaho Falls with the normal high at 61. So again during the day, especially right after lunch, it warms up very nicely with that sunshine. Uh, I want to show you the wind speeds here. Again, the winds are looking fairly light as we go overnight. Starting tomorrow morning about 8, 9 o'clock, you're starting to feel a little bit of a breeze out there. And the winds will steadily increase. And we'll get some gustier conditions coming through the Snake River Plain with those winds well into the teens and 20s. Not so much, though, for central Idaho. This looks like it's going to target the Snake River Plain and western Wyoming. 71 for McCam and 66 in Lava with highs around 68 for Montpelier tomorrow. Highs around 68 in Rexburg with 64 in Jackson. High of 57 for West Yellowstone and a pair of sixes in Dubois with highs at 68 for both Salmon and Chalice. 65 for Mackey and highs at 65 in Arco with highs at 68 for IF and Rigby. Pocatello's at 72. We'll carry the low 70s out along I-86 on your way into the Magic Valley and the lower 70s tomorrow in Aberdeen with temperatures tonight upper 20s, lower 30s range. In your extended forecast, Blackfoot, and we'll start with the eight day here. Temperatures warming up slightly for Monday and Tuesday, but again, watch out for the wind tomorrow afternoon. Lows falling back to the mid to lower 30s, and it looks like it's going to be fairly quiet for much of next week. Rexburg high of 68 and 69 for the weekend. The winds with us here for Saturday, and the winds are expected to back down by Sunday afternoon. Highs around 70 for Monday and Tuesday. Over to Salmon. Highs will be in the upper 60s, lower 70s this weekend with plenty of sunshine. That sunshine and warm weather continuing well into next week. The valleys of central Idaho looking gorgeous in that eight-day forecast. We'll get a few clouds in there for next weekend. There's a hint that we might get some stormy weather uh, later in that eight-day forecast. We're talking not this weekend, but at the end towards next weekend. Jackson high of 64 for tomorrow, 67 for Sunday. The winds will also be a bit gusty for the valleys of western Wyoming and far eastern Idaho here for your Saturday afternoon. Numbers in the lower 70s for Saturday and Sunday in Pocatello. Mid-70s for Monday and Tuesday to get us started for a new work week and the lows back into the mid to upper 30s. Idaho Falls, your eight day outlook gets a little windy in the afternoon tomorrow. Temperatures still peaking above average into the upper 60s to lower 70s. Lower 70s for highs Monday and Tuesday with lows dipping back into those 30s. And it's going to be sunny for the rest of that eight day forecast with a few clouds on Wednesday. Linda and Todd, over to you. All right, nice stuff.